Rob Andrus with the Department of Conservation, Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries. I'm the District 6 Fisheries Management Biologist and basically what we do two months out of the year, usually June and September, is come out to ponds and uh, talk to pond owners about what it is that they want from the pond, their management goals, and we try to urge them or nudge them in that direction. So uh, typical days, we come out, we pull some seines, look at the fish population through the reproduction. Uh, we can take a water sample, look and see if the pond needs a lime application, um, and basically we just help them manipulate the, the fish population to make it what they want it to be. Uh, I'm Rob McCarter with the Alabama Department of Conservation Fishery Section, and what I'm doing here is uh, alkalinity test of this water, and what we do is take a sample of the water and uh, use this Bromo Crystal Green Methyl Red Indicator Powder. And uh, then we'll titrate that with a solution of uh, sulfuric acid. And uh, we'll come up with parts per million of the alkalinity. Uh, the alkalinity, like Rob says, is more of a pH buffer. And if, if you can keep your pH in a pond between six and nine, uh, that's what the phytoplankton that you're trying to stimulate with a, with a fertilizer, with a pond fertilizer, uh, that's what it prefers. So if we can uh, make sure that there's enough agricultural limestone in the pond, um, you know, it, it, it seems to, to benefit the pond owner. If it's uh, alkalinity level's really low, you, you want to have somebody come in and lime the pond. If you don't do that, it's almost just kind of a waste of time to get out there and, and fertilize it. So that's that's basically what he's saying. We test and see if it's above 20 parts per million. If it's not, we're going to suggest that the pond owner come in and, and uh, put some some agricultural limestone at the rate of at least two tons per acre. So that's, that's what we're doing. So you're saying when you run a kit test, you want about 20 parts per million, ideally. Yes. Yes, Anything less than that, then you need to add the ag lime to it. Correct. Correct. Okay. Now, if it gets too acid for too long, what will happen to your fish? It's it's it's, it's not going to necessarily be too acid for too long. It's not you know this is kind of a natural situation. You're acidic soil down here on the coastal plain, so it, it's and you got a lot of clay in the pond bottom. Basically, what we're saying is that you can't stimulate a good phytoplankton bloom if the water column is too acidic. It's not like it's going to be acidic uh, to the point that it's going to be lethal for these fish. But, but what I'm saying is that your food chain, basically from the bottom up, is inhibited if you've got a really acidic condition. So when you apply agricultural limestone, all you're doing is trying to bring that to more of a neutral state, especially in the coastal plain ponds. Okay. Let's check out around 21 parts per million, so it's right on the borderline. Well, that's that's excellent. It, it appears like somebody has managed it with that. Or if there's a good spring import. Or it could be coming off of some springs, yeah. yeah. Get that coming off of springs. Okay. How does that uh, pH affect the health of the fish? Well, it, it, it's, 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 like I said, it's tied into the food chain. It's mm -hmm. not necessarily... Uh, in a natural situation like this, you're just trying to create a situation that your food chain, uh, your fish can benefit from that. If you're, you're looking for your benefits for your fish, you just want a pH between 6 and 9 so that you can boost the food chain from the bottom up. Okay. The, the more natural fertility you have or the more fertility that you can stimulate with a application of fertilizer, the, uh, the better your fish are going to respond. You can support more pounds of fish in the pond. Right. Uh, water quality kit. I guess it's an ecology kit that Hawk has available. Uh, you can test some some very, I guess, uh, or you can get some crude estimates of some important uh, indicators in the water uh, situation. So, you know, if you're looking at pH or alkalinity or uh, dissolved oxygen, hardness, um, uh, I think those are pretty much the ones that we would look at with this kit, but mostly just alkalinity and uh, this is actually a little bit more of a kit than what most pond owners would, would need if they're just trying to test the alkalinity of the water. Uh, I think you can get a very simple kit. It just has the, uh, 
the sulfuric acid titrate and the uh, bromocresterol grain indicator uh, packet. So that would be a, a very economical way to look at a pond and tell whether or not it needs a lime application. Okay, they can look up the company name. Yes, sir, it's H-A-C-H, Hawk is the 